The White House COVID test request site is now live a day early. You can now get free rapid COVID tests delivered to your doorstep. The government website was set to roll out tomorrow, but it launched early. Half a billion free tests are now available to Americans. Janelle Forte has more on how you can get one of these free tests. After much anticipation, a new federal website where Americans can request free at home COVID-19 tests now live and taking orders. It's in the beta testing phase right now. The way it works, go to covidtest.gov or usps.com slash covid test. When you get to this screen, click order free at home test. Then it'll take you to this window. You'll type in some personal information, first and last name, email address for shipping updates and your home address. From there, click check out now to confirm. Every website launch in our view comes with risk. We can't guarantee there won't be a bug or two, uh, but the best tech teams across the administration and the Postal Service are working hard to make this a success. Households can order four rapid tests regardless of the number of occupants. The launch coming after weeks of criticism of the Biden administration for widespread testing shortages fueled by the rapidly spreading Omicron variant. News Nation talking to the Surgeon General today. Should this have been done earlier? Oh, well, and it turns out that there was actually a lot that was being done to increase testing over the course of the year. Keep in mind, at the beginning of the year, we didn't have any uh, at-home rapid tests that were commercially available in stores. We approved nine of them. We used the DPA and uh, billions of dollars to actually jumpstart and expand manufacturing capacity. The first test kits are expected to ship out at the end of the month, prioritizing Americans from zip codes that have experienced high rates of COVID-19 cases and deaths. The White House says the first 20% of each day's orders will go to those areas. I do know that um, it's, it's just a stepping stone. Dr. Inbal Shockham, chair of the Department of Behavioral Science and Health Education at St. Louis University, says making sure these tests go out in an equitable way is going to be the administration's biggest challenge and measure of success. If you want me to protect the people around me and say I can't go to work because of this, there are several things that need to happen. I need to be able to access an affordable test, and I also need to be able to take sick leave and get paid for it. Janelle Forte with that report.